Hello everybody, welcome back to another Hoppery Short. So tonight we're going to be looking at a Berliner Weiss. It is called the Professor Fritz Bream 1809 Berliner Weiss. Uh, and this comes to us from the same brewery that does Weinstefaner, so Brauerei Weinstefan. And it comes from Germany, obviously. Um, but this is a German wheat beer uh, that's been soured with a uh, bacteria called lactobacillus. So if you're familiar with Russian River's Temptation, Supplication, Consecration, those beers use lactobacillus and also another one called Pediococcus. And really all it does is add a souring, you know, funk to a beer. Now this one only clocks in, as I said, at 5%. Um, you know, but let's go ahead and take a look. Now, I have been drinking this a little bit tonight, so uh, I just wanted to make sure that I shared this with you before I finished the bottle. But let me go ahead and pour some in here. All right. Now, you can tell that this has a really pale golden color. Um, there is a little bit of sediment coming up uh, just because I'm getting near the end of the bottle, but it's got that nice, slightly hazy pale yellow color and the uh, the head on this one is surprisingly dissipating quickly in fact I imagine it's gonna be pretty much gone here within the next few seconds so with that said let me go ahead and get my nose in there and see how it smells so it has this really nice sort of um, uh, tart funkiness in there um, and that is a direct reaction of the pediococcus, or I'm excuse me, the lactobacillus. Um, so it gives it that sort of tartness that you would find from one of those Asian beers that I talked about uh, earlier from Russian River. Um, but really, you can see the head on that is, it, it's, it's really, it's gone. So let me go ahead and get in there and taste it, and I'll let you know what it tastes like. Yeah, this one really reminds me of Temptation. Um, because this is a wheat beer and it's got a lower ABV, um, it really does have sort of a refreshing quality. Uh, I'm not saying that it's extremely refreshing just because it's so tart. Um, but, you know, really a nice little beer. Uh, if you're somebody who wants to know kind of what Temptation or Supplication tastes like, but you're just not able to find Russian River beers in your area, I really highly suggest getting this one. And when you understand what that kind of funky tartness tastes like, you'll really know what um, those beers taste like. So anyway, enough said for today. I'm going to go ahead and finish this one off, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.